Hello Studentin, I'm Laura Bennett with German with Laura and in this video we want to answer the question how soon am I ready to have a conversation in German? This video is part of a larger series, Learning the German Language, The Essential Beginner's Guide, but this video does also stand on its own. There's a massive misconception out there that if you want to learn to speak German, the best way to get started is to simply start speaking. This idea is very much so connected to the other misconception that we've talked about already, that the instant immersion approach is the best way to learn German. But just like we saw in the video on that misconception, giving students the advice to simply start speaking German from the very beginning is like throwing someone who can't swim into the deep end and saying, good luck, you'll figure it out. Are there people who flap and flail around enough that they keep their heads above water, maybe even get to that point that they do on their own figure out certain swimming techniques? I suppose so, but in my book, this is going about learning to speak German the hard way. The most efficient and effective way to learn to speak German is to not throw yourself into it and try to figure it out as you go along, but start at the beginning in the kiddie pool and have a step-by-step -step process, a system for getting yourself to that place that you can successfully swim in the deep end. You do want to start speaking German from the very beginning, but there's a massive qualifier to that statement. Okay, there are two different types of speech, what I call scripted speech and created speech. Created speech is the jumping into the deep end before you know how to swim. This is where you're thinking up your own sentences of how to introduce yourself and talk about your hobbies, etc., etc. Scripted speech, on the other hand, is already written for you. This is like taking a German song that you really like, finding the lyrics, and singing along to it. Or finding an easy beginner German reader, getting the book, also getting the audiobook, and then reading it aloud along with the audiobook version, okay? It's scripted because everything's taken care of for you. You don't have to worry about vocabulary that you don't yet know. You don't have to worry about grammar structures that you don't yet know. It's all done for you, which frees you up to focus on getting your body used to making new German sounds. There are letters of the alphabet, like the umlauted, a, O, and U that make sounds we're not used to in, in English, okay? You need to practice these and you need to practice overall inflection so that you're not speaking in a really choppy, hesitant way. You also want to develop as authentic of an accent as possible, right? You don't want to sound like this. Hello, ich bin Laura, ich komme aus Iowa, ich spreche seit zehn Jahren Deutsch. Right? You want to sound like a German. Hallo, ich bin Laura. Ich komme aus Iowa. Ich spreche seit zehn Jahren Deutsch. Yep, yeah, big difference. Big difference. Okay, you can get there, but starting with scripted speech is key. You need to hear lots of authentic German and practice matching it long, long, long before you are ready to start making your own German utterances. Okay, there's a step-by-step -step process for you here. All right, so as already mentioned, you start with something such as listening to music. Then that's going to lead you to the place that after building basic vocabulary, learning essential grammar structures, you put that into practice by creating your own sentence drills. This is a written exercise, okay, where you get to practice utilizing new vocabulary and the grammar that helps you string it all together. But after you write these sentence drills, you can also read them aloud and get more scripted speech practice, okay? From there, you would further expand 
into writing entire dialogues, right? You imagine yourself in a situation at the grocery store, at the bank, at the post office, and write out, again, written exercise, write out what would you say? What might someone else say to you? Then what would you say, right? You play act essentially through these scenarios and that will help you recognize where you might still have some holes in your basic knowledge, where there are some new vocabulary words that you still need to learn or basic grammar structures that you still need to learn. Okay, from there, because again, you can read these dialogues aloud and that's more scripted speech practice. After you have some of this under your belt, the next step is to find at least one native speaker, ideally, who also is a good teacher. It's not enough to just be a native speaker. You have to find someone who will correct you when you make mistakes, right? Every time you make a mistake, because that's what you need. Someone who will correct you and who can also explain why something is the way it is. That's the ideal scenario. With this person then, you can start having targeted conversations. You can start with a mix of the scripted and created speech. You can prepare a topic, right? That brings us back to the idea of dialogues. You can prepare a topic in written form, but then have the conversation where you're not reading from the dialogue. You're just trying to draw upon that practice in order to be more successful in that conversation. After you get some practice with that trusted teacher, that trusted guide who is further honing your skills, then, then you are ready for going out into the wild and having as many conversations as you possibly can because at this point, you've built up a certain amount of comfort, a certain amount of confidence because you've gone through a step-by-step process that is systematically preparing you to create your own German utterances. So at this point, I can hear you ask the question, how long, how long will this process take? That is the subject of our next video. How fast can I learn to speak German? So you can click here to continue to the next video in this series, or if you haven't yet watched from the beginning, click here instead. We're going to talk about YouTube videos, popular apps and software programs, and the pitfalls of them that I see so many students fall into. You need to avoid those pitfalls so that you can actually achieve your goal of learning to speak German.